Well, good morning, guys. Welcome back. We're got the bean planter in now, and instead of winterizing this thing, we were actually switching it over, getting it ready for wheat. Because we, it's the same. We plant wheat 15 inch rows with this thing. We don't don't drill it in. Seems to work a little better for us. So, guys have been working for quite a while. I'm I'm like a blister. Is. Coming back when you don't want you. Show up when the Showing work's done. When done. <laughs> yep. Yep. I'm not arguing that point at all. <laughs> not at all. The only things we really have to do to switch this thing over for wheat is some work inside the meters. So yeah, Kyle's about ready to start another one. We'll kind of walk you through what little bit we have to do. Go empty it out. Yeah. So each of these meters have a precision disc. As you can tell, that's a 56 holer for soybeans. Pull that out, stack that away for winter. Do you guys have certain? Okay. Don't mess our system I'm not going to mess your system up. I don't even know what row that was. Nine. Nine. So each disc is marked. They go back in the same row units every year to make sure that if one's wearing weird or any kind of groove or whatever, they always go back on the same one. This is a 164, lot smaller holes, because you plant seed a lot higher rate. That's what pushes but that's, seed. Yep, that's what pushes the seed out of the disc and down the tube. So, so Kyle's the other one out. swapping out. There's one brush we gotta swap out on this side, but as far as that side goes, Kyle swaps out the roller. Don't forget your spring, doesn't work. <laughs> Yep. We can show them from this side. Yeah, no, you're good. And then, as you can see right there, yep. As it spins, it pushes new seed out. And then, because the seed is so fine, we don't need quite as big of a gap. For the wheat. Looks like Uncle Uncle Joe. Uncle, Hill, Hillbilly. It's Uncle Mike. It's yeah. Uncle Mike. Hillbilly Uncle Mike. Snap that in. Yep. Sure Make sure everything's bouncy. working okay. Slap it back together. Do another one. That's <laughs> right. And that one's ready for wheat. Tedious process, but it's not bad at all. They've got a pretty good system going. I think all the mini hoppers are emptied, but we've still got a little bit of seed up here in the tank. However, one thing that's different with the bean planter than the corn planter is all of these hoses are routed. And if you try to empty the tank, fold it up, that's what happens. It catches all the seed. So we're gonna wait till the machine is unfolded to get those finished emptying. We've got one hose kink that we've got to, we'll cut that off and kind of reconnect it on, to, on a fresh piece of hose when once it's unfolded. Yeah, we've got another one right here. I replaced a chunk of them because this, this machine is an 04, I believe. So going on 21 years old next year and a lot of those hoses are the original so they start getting a little brittle we've just been kind of replacing them as they do that all right looks like they're ready for it to be unfolded do you want me to fold it outside like completely out yeah okay Maybe that'll be better for you guys. I don't know if the glare is too much. Well, 
Well, rookie mistake on my end. So when you set the bean planter down, it kicks the blower on, which in turns blows seed from the central fill to your mini hoppers. So we unfolded to empty the central fill. When I kicked the blow, I did empty the center fill or part of it. But when I did that, there's not much in that one, but let me see. I refilled all their hoppers. So now they don't have to mess with any of the discs, but they got to go back through them. And re empty them. But you know what? My fault. I'll help. I help. I won't argue with that. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and disconnect all of them. That way, once we empty the central fill, if there's anything left in the hoses, I can lower it and it'll just blow the little bit out. So that'll work. We'll do it right this time. Hey, you ain't doing it right if you don't screw up There's a few beans in there. There's not a lot of beans in them, but just enough that we've got to check them. What's that? What's the paint coating on your beans? Just seed treatments. Exactly what it is, I'm not sure. It's a seed treatment. Oh, okay. Don't ask any more than that. I don't know. They're pink, <laughs> They're pink and purple. It is what it is. I don't know. Seeds have always been treated for as long as I've been farming. So you don't ask. Wow, that's put it all the way over here. Not much in there, was there? A handful about each one. A handful, okay. And, uh, all right, well, guys, we went back through all the meters. wasn't a big deal, but they're all empty again and disconnected this time. So we're going to drain out the bulk tank, and then I can drop it, kick the blower back on, and then make sure the tubes are empty. All right, well, if you can see, we got a little bit on the ground. We had a couple tubes that had some in it. So good thing we did it, but get these tubes hooked back up. And I think she'll officially be ready for wheat. We hope so. Ah, oh, uh, just thought about that too. We've got those hoses we gotta. So our biggest problem with what we're doing on these is the ones like that one. It's this one right here. It's a really short one, but that's the problem is it's really short but man but look you've got all you've got all that extra so we've got plenty of extra we just need to kind of push it up there and then so it, it needs more room when it's folded is the problem so we'll just yeah we'll just cut it off here get rid of this piece and clamp on the new one and then we'll just make sure it gets pushed up in there looks like we're gonna have one two three on this side that we've got to cut back we've got plenty of room for this one since it's right next to the clamp I'm not too sure on these that we have enough room to cut six eight inches off our hose and still have enough flex 
on the rest of the planter. So we'll have to trace those back, kind of see what we got, see if we can slide the hose that way a little bit, or if we're gonna have to buy a whole new roll of this stuff and just run a whole new line. All right, so 26 is the one. I think we'd be fine there. I mean, it's that's the one that's the deepest. I mean, if if it's bad, inches. it's bad. I'd cut it off and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, so now. Got one more. Yeah, we got there. Yeah, we got one more try. Good enough. So we do that. Yeah, we're still decent here. Because as whenever I drop this on the ground, it'll actually pick up the row unit, which gives me a little more slack. So this was the taunt, the most taunt it will be. So I think you're good. If you can get her. Yep. Perfect. Right there. Yep. I'd say that'll work. Let's tighten it down and. The only thing we can do is try. Yeah. Well, that was an epic failure. That one's already kinked. So it's it's this one right here. So it's a short hose, but we still don't have enough. And then you guys can see back here, it's already kinked and split. This is too short. We've just cut it too many times. This other one is just brittle hose. Well, that's on hold. Because we can't finish it up and put it away, we'll probably end up backing it in, move the welding bench, back it in while it's still unfolded so I don't have to kink those hoses again. Finishing out the day today, something that's been needing to be done for probably three or four years now, and it, you gotta make a mess to do it, so we've never done it. But we figured we got half an afternoon, that's all it's gonna take. Why not do it now? So, boom. If anybody has ever replaced a hydrant, one, they're in usually in heavily trafficked areas that you don't like tearing up, and two, you make a mess all for that one unscrew, screw back on. So the one we're gonna replace today is actually up here, literally in dad's backyard. So, we get to tear up dad's yard for one little hydrant. But as you can tell, it's dri dripping. It literally never drains, so it freezes up in the winter. So all winter long, you can't even use it. I don't know why I showed you guys the hydrant and then proceeded to walk away from it. Uh, hey dummy, you're gonna need that hydrant. Might as well take it with you. So what do you think, Dad? Hand or backhoe? I'd use the backhoe, but... <laughs> See, Kyle? All that shovel work you did, and he could have done it in about... He was a little breaker. About half an hour of raking. All that rock you guys moved and he could have done it in no time. Definitely glad that dad decided to get the backhoe. Get the backhoe operator. Sand just keeps falling in though. Alright, well that actually came off easier than expected. Literally unscrewed it by hand. Now the only thing we need off this old pipe is this little weep hole. 
basically that's what drains drains the water back below frost level oh it's even coming unscrewed on the right side nice There, but I would definitely do this one. Yeah, I would do the next one. Should have painted it green or blue. Ew! That was the second best try. Which way would you like it facing? So if I did that by hand, surely I can go another. I would go definitely another one. Think you want to try another one? I'd almost go another turn. That looked way too easy. Can you still go? No oh, if not, you've got to. Yeah. Okay. okay. Of course I can. <laughs> Coming from the guy whining this morning because his boobies hurt. <laughs> My boobies do hurt. <laughs> Don't break the handle. <laughs> yeah. That was not that. Good. And there. I'm gonna Did you turn, turn it on? on? Well, that's a yeah, good I sign. Got a bucket. Okay, moment of truth. Oh, I hear it. We have a leak, though. <laughs> Everything looks good. I've been chugging it. Ooh. And you shut off. Oh, good, it shuts off. Look at that. That's just the other one. Weeping away. Yep. So, right now, that is draining all of the water up to that nozzle, basically, so that when you shut the water off, lowers the water level down to there keeps your hydrant from freezing up in winter if you didn't know that now you do if you already knew that just ignore it there you go I like being the cameraman. I like digging. All right. Well, rest of this you job heard it is, on camera. Kyle likes digging. Uh, I don't mind this one. Rest of this job is pretty self-explanatory. Look at that. Got it all filled in. Still works. Now time for me to put this flow lock on here to keep mom out of it. Or just confuse the crap out of her. Alright, well we got the hydrant fixed. We decided to go ahead and call it okay. On the bean planter for now, we're going to limp it through wheat. And then if we're able to do that, like I said, we'll do the complete overhaul come winter. So, getting some things put away. Cleaning up our barn lot a little bit. Emptying out the shed ready for the next project in the next few days so hope you guys enjoyed this video random fact kind of got two for you today one there's a hundred folds in a chef hat which that's not even the fun fact i didn't even know that to begin with so there's one fact and the other thing is it represents 100 different ways to cook an egg which had no idea you could cook something that many different ways but Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you in the next one.